White face all over the world. It's Daddy P with Slap Pappy Gorilla. What? Canelo Alvarez, man. Who is he fighting next? You know, is this become a thing where we just wait for Canelo Alvarez to see? Ooh, drum roll. Let's see who he going to fight next. Man, look, man. This is very disappointing. Hey, look. Canelo Alvarez need to fight David Benavidez. It's been that way for a long time. You know, it's been that way. This man is like he been the next up to fight for that WBC strap for the longest. Now he's actually the WBC interim champion. So he, you know, can petition for that. And then the WBC, they not doing nothing about it. They ain't doing nothing about it, man. It's a shame, man. Y'all charge these fighters, these purses, and all, I mean, a percentage of their purse for that, for the, for y'all belt. Y'all making all this money, but it's an injustice, man, going on that y'all don't even care about. Man, that's a slap in the face to, to hardcore boxing fans, you know? And we the ones that help provide the purse for the fighters. We the ones that buy the pay per views. You know what I'm saying? And this man is the undisputed champion. That means he's holding up all four belts in the division. And y'all let him keep fighting guys who not even from the division. At all. Fought Jamel Charlo. Disappointing fight. I like Jamel Charlo, man. But Jamel Charlo, when he figured out he couldn't win, man, he just... Laid down for the money. You know, but we as boxing fans pay for this stuff, man. You know, it's a real injustice. And I'm going to tell you, listen. you going to mess around, boy. Get knocked out by one of these fighters. Canelo Alvarez, he's so worried about his legacy and all that. You mess around and get knocked out by one of these fighters that you fighting you know what I'm saying? And that's really going to be a tragedy. He messed around and fight Crawford. You know what I'm saying? And get knocked out. Man, please. Now what's going to happen to <laughs> your fan base, your legacy? All this stuff you holding on to, man. Shout out to Knockout Boxing. He made a good point. He said one thing he said that, man, look, he don't want. To fight David Benavidez, not because he's scared of him. Canelo Alvarez is a fighter, a warrior. But he's scared to lose his Latino fan base, his Mexican fan base, to another fighter who is of Mexican descent. Less. <laughs> and that make all the sense in the world. But, I, I mean, besides that, man, look, it is an injustice to the sport of boxing. How this man is able to do all this stuff. Fight these guys. You fight guys that's from lower weight classes. A guy come from 154. He do not deserve to fight for undisputed. Period. He don't deserve it. And then y'all keep bringing up. Well y'all let other fighter man forget other fighters. Canelo been doing this for years on top of years. Not as an undisputed champion. But still, he been doing it, man. Picking and choosing. But anyway. He fight Terrence Crawford. I'm about to fight because I'm a Terrence Crawford fan. I ain't going to lie. But Benavidez deserves this fight, man. David Benavidez. And um, it's a real injustice that he's not getting it. But anyway, I, I guess we'll just have to wait and see who he go fight. I guess he'll announce it soon, whatever the case may be. But this is Daddy P. Like, Kate, comment, subscribe, man. He mess around. Okay, Canelo. Mess around and get knocked out or something happened that... When you get a flute loss, see, they excuse the loss to Bivo. Oh, yeah, he went up to a higher weight class. And then Bivo is not of Mexican descent, see. Bivo ain't no Mexican. So if he lost, you know, he still keep his Mexican fan base behind him. He keep being able to make all this money. 
for every fight, no matter who he fight. Okay, you mess around and lose, though, to one of these fighters, bro. That's coming up in weight, and it's going to be a slap in the face because, you know, Mexican fans have a rich history. You know what I'm saying? They've been rooting for, for great fighters for years on top of years. So you really are desecrating that fan base by what you're doing. And you mess around and have a loss that's crazy. Lose to somebody crazy. And then, hey, look, your legacy, everything going to be in question. But anyway, man, look, Canelo Alvarez, look, heck of a career. I'm not go down you like that. But at the same time, man, the Clem Buterol, nah, I ain't like that. And I don't like the fact that, you know, he's able to do things that everybody else cannot do. You know, it's unfair. And this is the thing. If you get an advantage, I'm all for advantages, man. If you get an advantage in something, that's fine. But, man, at least, at the least, be fair, bro. You don't need them belts to make money. Your name go make money, whoever you fight. You don't need the belts. He just want to fight with those belts. So in the history books, he could say he defended these titles. You know what I'm saying? So many times. But all right, you go, them history books go go turn on you. You keep playing. But anyway, this Daddy P, like, hate, comment, subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell icon so you can be notified every time it go down. This is Daddy P. Thank you to all of the subscribers. I'm 700 strong. Hey, look, I appreciate y'all. This Daddy P. God bless. I'm out.